Hey, welcome YouTubers. Welcome to my channel, Mr. Reef Buster. I'm your host, Monty. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing um, and a review, kind of review, on the Eheim Everyday Fish Feeder. And in conjunction with um, the New Life Spectra Thera um, A plus A uh, pellet foods uh, for your marine fish. So those of you that are new to my channel um, I recently started um, recently started a nano reef project episode series on my channel um, in conjunction with my regular my main tank the 45 gallon reef tank now this uh, fish feeder I got two of them um, and one is for my 45 gallon and one is for my t uh, the new 22 gallon lagoon tank that I that I'm setting up right now as we speak so the reason I got the fish feeder after you know having after feeding my fish um, manually by hand uh, for so long the reason I went with it because I am gonna get be getting different types newer types of fish like looking into antheas and other fishes um, and also just for the, for the betterment of my current fishes that I have just so they get uh, you know at least fed twice a day even though they may be small feedings but better than um, the feeding that I'm doing currently and currently I feed them once a day if I remember it sometimes I don't feed them in two days which is not good and I am guilty of doing that and and I can see it on my fish's overall health um, they're not as healthy as I would like them to be so since I do work um, do have a regular job so and I have nobody else I can rely on to feed the fishes during the day so I eventually and also, you know, I, I plan on going on, you know, making, taking some trips as well in the future. Um, so I thought about a redundancy option, you know, so somebody, somebody has, somebody, the fishes are fed. If I'm away for a couple of hours, you know, since I work during the day, they need to be fed at least once during the day and once at night time. Um, so that's why I got myself the fish feeder. Um, now, before I got the feeder, I did uh, do a lot of research into uh, which one is the better option. I spoke to um, some of the guys at Marine Depot. Uh, that's where I usually get all my equipments from. Um, great help. Uh, so they recommend, I, I mean, when I called them, I knew I was leaning toward the Eheim. Um, because it's the best bang for your buck and it is reliable I've seen a lot of videos where people recommended this fish feeder so I had the Eheim on the back of my head and when I spoke to the guys at Marine Depot they recommended the Eheim as well so I went with the Eheim I got two of them one for my 45 gallon and this one is gonna be for my um, the 22 gallon lagoon tank now the one from a 45 gallon, I already have it up and running. The reason this one I'm doing the unboxing with you guys because the 22 gallon lagoon tank isn't up and running yet, so I didn't have to um, set up the fish feeder. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, before we open up the Eheim, I am going to be sh uh, showing you which pellets I'm going to be working with. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I am going um, with the New Life Spectra um, right here. There are A plus A, and this one is. Let me see. This is a 0.5 millimeter sinking pellets, um, and it does have garlic already in it. So this is good if you're trying to get your fish to start, um, you know, going after pellets after you fed them frozen food for so long, like I have. So this will be a good start, and I already tried it out, you know, like sprinkling a little bit with my own hands, and my my my, and then my clown went after it immediately. So um, that's good to know. I just hope the rest of the fish I'll be getting from my lagoon tank will be will be following his uh, lead. So let's go ahead and um, dive into the unboxing and see what we get with the Eheim. I'm gonna set it up and show you guys how everything is done. So let's open up the box. Now let's look in the front of the box. Let's look all around it. So what you get with it. So Eheim, it comes with a three-year 
warranty. Um, it's in Spanish, so but I'm trying to read it. It comes with three-year warranty. Does come with batteries included. Um, also get a feeder holder included in it. Um, and also, let's see. It does have a fan inside, so you can um, so you can so you can keep the pellets dry. Um, and some of the instructions are pretty much on the on the box itself so but I'm gonna go over everything with you guys um, now keep in mind this is only for dry food and flakes this is not for not for frozen food or or liquid food so let's open up the box and see what we get inside now the price wise I mean you can get it from multiple different sources um, right there as you can see you know, first thing we get is a little velcro put that aside this is your bracket to mount it on the side of the tank if you have that kind of a tank. Um, so price wise you can get it from eBay, Amazon or you can get it from Marine Depot. This one at Marine Depot is priced at I believe $32 or $33. Okay, so off the, bo off the box you get your manual and quick setup guide make sure you read it guys it helped me out when i set up the other one for my 45 gallon but so now i know everything i don't have to read it but if it's your first time go ahead and read it okay let's take it out put that aside so here is your fish feeder guys let me just so this is the Eheim fish feeder, auto fish feeder. As you can see on the back, you have your the fan. That's where the air circulates in, and you can detach it. This is the actual machine, and this is on the container where you're gonna put the pellets in. So let's look at the container where we'll be keeping the food most of the time. Um, on the side, on the, on the top of it, it has a door. I don't know if you can see it. Let's zoom in a little bit more. So it has this door, and this door, by opening it, and you can open it, you can adjust how much food, uh, how much pellet you want it to come out. It'll depend on how wide you open the door. Now, if you're using flakes, uh, you might have to open it a little bit more, like, I would say up to like this, maybe. But if you, depending on the size of your pellets, Mind you, I'm using 0.5 uh, millimeter pellets. So these are very tiny pellets. And so I don't overfeed the tank and get a spike in, you know, phosphates and nitrates. The opening for me would have to be very narrow. Like this, maybe. You can barely see opening. But this should be sufficient to feed all the fish in my nano cube. Now for you guys, it depends on the size of the pellet you're using. So before you just throw the pellets in and assume an opening and just start everything, do a dry run or you know, away from the tank and see how much food comes out with each rotation. Because usually with the feeding for these, it does one rotation. You can set it up, up to, I think, um, four feeds a day if I if I know correctly four feeds a day and each feed you can do double rotation up to so basically eight rotations eight feeds you can do technically so you have the option to do one rotation or double rotation for each of the feeding times and you can program it I'll show you how it's done but I recommend you trying it out see how much food falls each rotation it does um, that's what that's the way and I'll show you guys an example uh, so this way you have an idea so basically this is the this is the container and the way you're gonna put the pellets in is right here just pop it open your pellets go inside pop it back in let's throw some pellets in right now since we are in the topic this way when I do the demonstration for you guys you'll have an idea of how it works so let me open my food so for those of you that are new to getting pellet food for your for your tank 
This is what 0.5 millimeter pellets look like. They look like like really, really fine coffee beans. Really, really fine. Now, the reason I got the 0.5 millimeters is because I'm going to have smaller fishes in my tank, so they'll have small mouth. So that's why I'm going to the 0.5 mill millimeters. So, but depending on this type of fish you keep on, keep on, you know, plan on keeping. So let's go ahead and put some inside the, the container. And when you're putting it in, make sure you have this thing closed so it doesn't come out as you're pouring it in. I'm going to put a little bit. Yeah, we got a decent amount inside. And I close it up. Now, when it comes to storing the pellets, try to keep it as as much as away from moisture as you can. So let's put the food is inside the container. We're good to go. Let me put them. Bring the camera down a little. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this guy up. Now, first thing we have to do is put batteries. Now, this one does take two AA batteries. Uh, if you have, if you don't want to buy batteries every couple of day, every couple of months, you might be better off going with the rechargeable batteries. So let me get the batteries out and pop it inside the machine. Alright, how do we put the batteries in? And let's see if I remember correctly. So you push this button on the bottom and the battery door comes open. You can see the internals. They're right there. So that's where your batteries go. Make sure you follow the sign, the sticker that tells you how it's done. So, plus down and plus up. So the batteries go right there. And you're gonna close up the door the same way. Uh, so let me just do it properly again. Finally got the batteries in and the meter and the device is on, the auto feeder is on as you can see. Right now when it turns on it tells starts at 12 o'clock. Now this auto feeder runs on a 24 hour uh, cycle so it goes from 12 all the way to 24 so make sure you do the conversion properly when you're setting the clock or setting the feed timer so it runs in a military standard time um, 12 hour cycle now now that it's powered on I'm gonna show you guys how you can do a manual feeding first then we'll go ahead and look into the programming I'm not gonna set the time um, but I'll show you how to do it but let me just show you how the manual feeding works um, so you just align this and you push it in and your feeder will look like this so now I'm gonna do the opening as I would do it for my tank just a slight little opening and let's just see how much pellets we can get out of it I'm going to pause the video and, uh, and zoom down so you can see how the pellets come out, how much pellet comes out per rotation. Okay, so now that we're looking down, you can press the button that has the Eheim logo on it. That's an actual button if you want to manually do it. So I'm going to assume this is the side of my tank and it is hanging out like this. When you press the button, it will do a rotation for you. Now, if, now you're seeing all the pellets on the table. 
this is a lot of pellets now these are 0.5 millimeters so that opening this is a lot of food for a nano tank 22 gallon nano lagoon tank that I have so this is how you're gonna fine tune the opening for that gate so now that we have done a, done a test run now I can fine tune it and close it a little bit more so this way I get a little bit less food out of this so I'm gonna close it a little bit more I want to clean up this mess just make sure how much food is on the table right now and when I when I when I not, now we're gonna do another run after I fine tune it and we'll go from there all right table is clear fine tune the opening one more time so let's do another run and see how much food we get out of it look at it now this looks more like a manageable amount of food not too much not too little just enough if I need to I can do a double shot of it now when you do the second um, second rotation for per feed the same the, the time difference interval is a uh, one minute so if you set up double rotation per feeding it will rotate first dump this amount of food after a minute it will rotate again so it gives the fish enough time to eat the pellets it drops so you do have that time that's why I like this feeder that's why I got it so I'm gonna show you guys how to program the timers it's very simple um, so we're gonna first let's say you were gonna you were just gonna set up the clock first first thing first so let's get started with the clock there we go So first you set the mode. Give me one second. So right now this is the clock. It's, it's basically saying 12.06 right now. So we're going to click set. And we're going to set the clock. This is the first thing you want to do when you get this equipment. So let's say it's 1 in the morning. So I'm just going to press plus and hit set and and then press set again and then press the and then press the mode then it'll take you to the minutes so let's say it's 110 in the morning so you just keep pressing plus until you get to 110 now only downside with this feeder is there's no plus or minus it's only plus so you have to cycle all the way uh, if you want to get to a higher number or if you cycle too fast then you know you just gotta redo it now if you want to go faster just hold on to the plus and it'll cycle all the way as it is doing right now so I'm gonna stop it uh, I don't want to waste too much time let's just assume it's 1 in the morning after you set select it and just press set and the timer is set so right now this machine is thinking it's 1 in the morning not 1 p.m. Yeah, when it's 1 30 p.m. In the afternoon, it's gonna say 13:30, not 1:30. So now you want to program. You can do four feeds, like I said. So you click mode, and on the on the top, it'll show number one. I don't know if you can see it clearly here, but it does say number one. That's feed one. So feed one. You're gonna click set. You're gonna set the hour. So let's say I want the first feed to happen at. 132. So you're going to select one and then click mode again. Do the time. Hold on to the plus. So we're going to go all the way to 132. Done. You hit set and you're done. You click back the mode, you go back to the time. Right now it says 131. We're going to leave this machine here. And when it hits 132, you're going to see the auto feed work right away. So let's give it about a couple of seconds. It should be 132 already. Still says 131.
there we go. Dump some more food out. And you're all done. So that was it, guys. I just wanted to show you guys how this uh, machine works. So far, I'm happy with the way it's performed with my 45 gallon. I will, if I if I need to give any further inputs on it, I will make a, a separate video, part two of it, uh, how it performs with my 40, my 22 gallon lagoon tank. Um, and thank you for watching, guys. You know, it's been a, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and show you guys the product. Um, for those of you that are following the Nano Reef um, episodes, stay tuned, guys. I am fine tuning out the, the 22 gallon lagoon tank. Um, still, a couple, a little bit of work left on it, but once I'm done, I will show you guys the finished uh, setup and everything. So be patient with me. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment section below. Um, so until next time, guys, take care and happy reefing.